Welcome back to Ouroboros King. I now get to choose how I make my runs harder. Every difficulty modifier I do increases the rating, so I can go without the starting relic that dings when I'm in check. I could also go without any starting rewinds. Could do 50% more enemy units and one enemy relic. Modifier of nine, that seems reasonable. Oh, and now I get to recruit my pieces. Assassin, move to any adjacent square. After killing a unit, move again. I'm gonna try an assassin. And I get to pick another. I could go with Crusader. Move any number of squares diagonally forward or vertically backwards. Upgrades to Knight Templar. I'm going to try a Crusader. I'm going to go with the trusty Bowman here. I think it's too good to pass up. Some other good options, but I don't have to go for novel units every time. There's plenty of novel new units still. I just have one Cardinal Foe. Could be fairly easy. I'll start with a check just to develop with tempo. And then how about I put him in check again? Now I'm starting to run out of checks to give. I think I can keep marching the king to the edge of the board. I think I'm actually going to move back the crusader for a check. He's backed himself into a corner. I can put him in check, and then I can fork the pieces. There we go. It's a little simple tactics. All I got to do is eliminate all of his non-king pieces, and I can win. I could get a princess. After killing unit, it transforms into a queen for the rest of the combat. The issue is that's really slow. I think I like a rook more. Just because it has full map range. I want pieces that can attack very far. And I can keep recruiting units. Upgrade all your knights and any knights you recruit in the future with Pegasus Riders. <laughs> you got a useless relic. What a fool. I could start by just sacrificing my chalice over. Because let's be real, that's what it is. And then proceeding to check. Actually, I'm going to check right here. Because then I can converge into a defended check. And actually just get the rest of his pieces. Double check, bitch. Farming some gold, beating some enemies. The queen is too expensive. I could try a barbarian. Move up to two times horizontally or vertically. Sure, why not? Now I get a relic fight against a berserker and cardinal. And there's annoying rocks in the way. So how about I get a good angle of attack? Berserker can attack so far. I'm going to bring my rook up into the action. See where he goes. Well, I figured I could get a defended check right here. Ooh, wipe out the cardinal? Or let's see if I can get a check first before I take. It's a pretty good block. You know what? I'll take it here and develop another check since I know he can't hit me out there. And now pin the berserker to the king, allowing me to wipe it out. <gasps> oh no! If your king and generals are your only unit left, get a queen. Well, the queen's dead. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Classic queen jump scare. Oh, I could get the spike shield again. That's such a good relic. I want a good item, even if I had it before. You take the good things in this game. I also could go for some more new units in my army. Got Vikings and Pegasus Riders. Oh, well, they can cover a ton of squares. Yeah, look at their total reach. I move forward with my own Viking. I'm in check. Oh, I gotta run. I'm in check again. This is absurd. I think I'm safe if I go here. The Vikings blocking discovered check. However, it unlocked the normal check. I forgot about my uh, spike shield already. I should have used that more to my advantage. It's okay. I can take his Viking and hope the king takes it. The king did not take it. It's okay because I can advance my own Viking. Got my bowman under attack. I can attack both his Pegasus Rider and his Viking like this. And my bowman is under fire. But it is protected by the Viking. You know what? I'll actually move up the assassin here. Oh, it's a pretty big fork including my king. I don't care because I can just move here to protect anything I need. The Viking and Bowman protect each other, so I can put my assassin here. My king's under attack, but that's okay. Advance the king again. My Bowman's under attack, which is fine. I think I'm actually going to put Viking up here, threaten the Pegasus Rider. Castled. The nerve. That puts my king in check and my Viking under attack. Ooh, I hate it. Oh, we took with the Pegasus, though. Not the Viking. I think I'm going to have to accept the stalemate here. I mean, I'm technically weaker, but I feel like this will be a king versus king scenario. I'll advance my king. What? You fool! You gave it up to me! Well, sometimes they do that. Anyway, I could try a portal mage. Move to any unoccupied square. Teleport all over the board. I don't know if I'm ready for a boss fight, but I got a ton of pieces. So do they. It's a dea. Okay, so I have the spike shield and I should use it. I'm gonna just start with the crusader here on the knight. What are you gonna kill with a dea? No, you're not. Oh, I can kill a dea. Perfect. 
All right, almost all the pieces are just gone. Well, I can put the portal mage across the map next to the king, forcing his berserker to take it, me taking the berserker and winning the match. I don't even know what the relics did. I should be reading the relics before the fight because I could be in a bad spot if not. I'm gonna go for a relic then for an upgrade. Oh, it's the portal world. Catapults can shoot over portals. Not good. I can start by getting my crusader in an interesting spot. Bowman's attacking the assassin. I could just put you in check, see how you like that. Will I trade a rook for a bowman? Yeah, of course I will. That's a really good trade. I get a two for one on that. That's some mighty nice value. But my bowman also attacking this knight, so I got two pieces on it. Hmm, the viking defense. Well, how about I put you in check, see if you like it. I think I'm gonna pin his viking to his king. That way I can get the portal mage also attacking the viking, allowing me to then take it with the, with the crusader and it's defended. Let me advance with the viking, how about that? That knight doesn't threaten me. I then can put the portal mage here and I think that's almost checkmate except for the fact that he can take his own rocks. You can run king, but you can't hide. Ooh, that's a good knight block. I can keep marching around with the bowman though. Oh, isn't this fine? Yeah, I could just take his pieces now. GG. One of these times I need a glass queen. Maybe I could try curse staff. I often like to move the same unit twice in a row though. It feels like it would go really well with a different build from what I have. I'll just take the bubble, even though I don't have a glass queen. Two princesses, don't let them kill anything. I get to start this off with a free kill on the catapult. King cannot take back. Oh no, I didn't notice though, the bowman would have me in check through the portals. Well, that changes a little, because at least I could wipe out his bowman instead. Tells me about that. Oh, it goes through the portals now. Wow, they updated this game fast. I have an idea, I could put my portal mage right here, threatening two of his pieces. When one of your units kills another unit is upgraded for the combat. Catapult has me in check, so I gotta make sure I take it. Rook being upgraded is no good. I can get out of this easily. I can actually bring my own Rook to the rescue. Although I don't want the princess to take anything. Comes a queen then. I'm gonna move my crusader back so I have a better diagonal. Oh, and I'll double attack the Rook right now. And now I can pin the Rook to the king even better. I mean, this is perfect. I get both pieces no matter what here. Yeah, so what if you're a queen? You're dead. Another victory down. What do I want to upgrade? My assassin could become a blade dancer. Move up to two squares horizontally and up to two vertically or vice versa. Jumping over other units after killing a unit move again? Whoa, that's a serious upgrade. Let's try it. I'll try recruiting another unit. I'm mostly curious to see what happens if I try to recruit a unit when my board is full. So I pretty much have to start with the two for one. Got a lot of Agent X's and Prosses. Sacrificing the Bowman's scary, but I think it's worth it. My Assassin. Oh, I guess he valued that unit more than the Bowman. One thing I could do is back off to put him in check, forcing the Agent X to show up. But then I can put him in check again. Now it's a rook. Rook. But it's different this time. Now I can put him in check with my crusader. Well, now I'm pretty sure I can checkmate with the portal mage right here because it's protected by the crusader. And you can't go anywhere. You can put me in check, but it's too late, brother. Your king is dead. Nice. I could take another bowman or another assassin. Oh, I could have a second blade dancer. Regular assassin seems bad, though. I'll take a bowman and then I'll have to shuffle around my setup. I'll get all the far attackers in the front. I think like this. Blade Dancer may do something eventually. Yeah, so what happens if I recruit new units now? He's got a leper. Whatever kills it transforms into a leper. We can attack a lot of my pieces. Oh no. Start by throwing my rook at his berserker. I think that's a fair trade. Oh, he also has spike shield. And now we just did two for two. Oh, dirty. Now this feels like a time to advance with my Blade Dancer. Let's see what sort of crazy attacks I can make with that. Oh, I didn't expect that. Well, I could do a defensive portal mage right here. The berserker's shown up, what? I mean, you can pick off my blade dancer once I put my crusader into it. Bringing up the catapult, which I think is a fair trade. Yeah, cause my blade dancer is not protected at all right now. I think I'm gonna take with the berserker just cause of how closed off it is. Oh, my blade dancer isn't even under attack. I can actually advance my blade dancer through the portal to here, which is a safe square. 
I don't know if I like that. What did I lose? I, th I think I lost a pretty bad piece. But I shouldn't have lost it. I think it's fine if I just move my king towards his catapult. So I'm still attacking one of two. Yeah, this is really good. I can actually start going Blade Dancer now. I can kill this. And then I can move again to get another kill. And then another one. Oh, <laughs> the Blade Dancer is cracked. Yeah, getting free moves. Absolutely overpowered. Oh, I get to upgrade a unit now. What does Knight Templar do? Move any number of squares diagonally or vertically without jumping over other units. Okay, so everything but horizontal movement. That's really good. I'll do it. Okay, so unit upgrades are really powerful for me right now. I'm still needing some. So it's Tabitha who has insane movement. They can castle any unit and Crusaders and Knight Templars bounce off of the side of the battlefield. Well, they have neither. All right, so I've got to make a two for one. So I'll start by wiping out that. Oh, you castled. You can attack anywhere right now. Oh, because of Tabitha. Tabitha has the ability to bounce off the screen because of the Knight Templar. Oh, no. I guess I kind of want to try a weird offensive move where I put the portal mage right in the line of sight of Tabitha. Tabitha can't take, but the rook can take. The rook does take. So now I will fall back with the bowman. See what they do. What? You did that? Well, that's amazing. I can't believe you would do that. Thank you. Yeah, it's really generous. I can put you in check with my Knight Templar. Locking with the Viking. Is that even protected? It is by the Berserker. What if I bring the Bowman into the mix? Then I have too many units for you to deal with. You're still in check. Well, I mean, I guess I can just win by taking both these pieces in the correct order. Don't need to worry about anything else. I mean, the Blade Dancer can beat the, the King anyway. Another victory. Two bosses down. Oh, I get another recruit, which means another upgrade. I think I can start with a Knight Templar. I take a, a Cardinal and... Oh, a Unicorn. I didn't even really consider what that could do. I definitely thought I was wiping out the Knight Templar there. I'm going to put the King in check then, see what he can do. Oh, I like this. Hold on. I'm actually going to pull my Rook over for this one. See where he runs. Blocks. Oh, and I can do a lot of disruption here. Bowman check. Force the King. Oh, to do something stupid. Like, let me take his rook. Well, now you're toast king. Absolutely burnt toast right now. Who wants to draw the nerve on this guy? Let's do a nice little ladder, mate. Bring it on over. Beautiful checkmate. This is going wonderful. Upgrade another unit. You become a berserker, but I haven't been using that much. I like the king, so I can also move like a knight to get out of check. I guess now I'll upgrade my last unit coming up. Oh, I can kill a lot. I'll probably kill the queen first. And they can castle any unit. I don't mind. You wiped up my Knight Templar. For this, you will pay. I think I'll trade a Rook for a Cardinal. That's in my favor. The King taking that, huh? I believe I can pick up a Knight Templar if I push the Bowman right here. Oh, the castle. Dirty castle. Fine, I'll just back up, put him in check. Bowman for a Bowman is a fair trade. But is a Bowman for a Knight Templar good? I think it is. Leaving him just the one piece puts me in a really good spot. Especially since I can start advancing the Blade Dancer. That is check. You see, I can just block with the Portal Mage. I can put the King in check. And deliver a Sick Fork. Boom! Oh, I want to kill it with the Blade Dancer. I mean, that's how good it can be. Don't even need to maximize its power. Well, I've upgraded all my units. Got a Berserker. Now I just want to farm a Relic. Now what can I all kill? I can kill Portal Mages, I can kill Knight Templars, I could kill Griffin. Now this is really good actually, I get to take the Griffin I think for free. And I'll just take the Knight Templar with my Rook. That's all of his threatening pieces gone except for the one Bowman. I think I'll just use my strength for numbers. Portal Mage for a Bowman. It's not a great trade in my favor, but it is a trade. Let's start by putting him in check and start advancing my Berserker. He needs to get into the fight. The Bowman has me in check. The Bowman is a dead man. I don't care. I think that's a very positive trade for me. Especially since I can bring in my own Bowman now. What a block. If destroyed, it explodes, killing all units in adjacent squares. Uh, I'm going to try a tactical bombing. <laughs> Beautiful. I can bring in the Portal Mage, putting him in check. His Portal Mage can kill my Knight Templar if I'm not careful. Let's be careful. And wrap him. I'll let the Portal Mage ki kill him. Oh, I could get the alarm bell to ring whenever my king's in danger. And the other one just tells me to ignore paths. Well, there are not going to be many more paths to ignore. I'm going to take the alarm bell to tell me when I'm in check. 
because I want to buy consumables after this fight. So I can kill only his leper. That's not good. His Crusaders and Knight Templars bounce off the side of the battlefield. I don't like that. Yeah, so he can kill two of my pieces, but I can only kill his leper. I think I'd rather start by putting pressure on his queen. I don't mind that. I'll always sacrifice a Knight Templar for a queen. I could buy some time by putting him into check. I gotta watch out for the fool, too. He's got a lot of potential nasty combos. Okay, this is safe. I can actually put the fool right here, because what's he gonna do? Yeah, he puts me in check, but your king's dead. That was guarded, and there was nowhere for him to go. Just a bunch of spot the mate in one puzzles. I love it. So I gotta spend all my gold now. Oh, I could make a unit invulnerable. Or I could have one of their units not attack next turn. I mean, there's some good options here. I'll buy a little one of each. And then contemplate what I'm gonna do for my last one. Actually, it might be good to have a rook in a bottle. Because then I could have, like, one of my worst pieces become a rook. Let's try it. I got flexibility. I'm ready for back-to-back -back boss battles. So, it's Andromeda. So their units aren't affected by explosions, which is a shame with all the bombs. And knights are upgraded. That's meaningless. Okay, I could wipe out a knight templar and a princess with this move. Or I could try some portal mage tactic. No, I don't want to use these until the very final boss fights because I feel like there could be some really good tactics. But right now, I see a great future for portal mage going right here. Okay, congratulations. I get to kill your best piece. I'm no longer worried. The bombs are really annoying, though. I don't have any moves I would like to do. Maybe I could get Blade Dancer involved. Bowman's pinning Blade Dancer, huh? He is protected. Guess I have to let Blade Dancer die. No. Oh, we're good. My Rook is pinned, but my Rook is protected. Blade Dancer can move again. I'm gonna go Blade Dancer to here. I can keep moving forward. It's a fork. Getting two important pieces. Oh, now I can just start killing. Watch this. Bam. Kill again. Kill again. Kill again. <laughs> it's so good. And escape with my life. One last fork to end it all. Blade Dancer just single-handedly won me the game. It can't play around Blade Dancer. Now I've got the final boss. All three queens in one. So hold on. Unicorn Cavalry can move like a Rook or Knight. I gotta get rid of Tabitha. That's the most annoying one. Wait a second. If I take Tabitha, only Idea can take. I'll start with the take here. See what happens. Oh! Andromeda puts me in check. So I actually have to shackles on Andromeda and then take. Okay, so now I'm in check. So I can retreat my bowman to save it and block the check. Idea is out. I don't have a check for me, but I got to get rid of Andromeda next or maybe Idea. I don't know which I want dead more. I mean, I could do a rook move to capture Idea. I think that's the play, actually. Yeah, that's a good capture. One scary queen left. Well, can't I try to pin her to the queen? Not gonna be perfect. Wait, no, that is perfect. Yeah, I've just gotten rid of all your scary pieces now. You blocked it and upgraded? Well, I think I'll just take that as well. Seems like they're just ripe for the picking now. I mean, this is basically over. Let's get the Knight Templar in here. I'm in check, but you're dead. Let me just make sure I don't die to anything stupid. Protect my king. Wait, what? Oh, that's not how I thought that worked. Okay, hold on, wait, 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 what? Oh, this can't attack horizontally. Why did I think this could attack horizontally like a queen? I'm dumb. Look at the mount or the spider right here. That's fine because the berserker can take easily. Well, now it's definitely over. Get skewered. Get owned. A uh, little uh, mix up at the end, but it didn't stop me from winning. Ouroboros King, difficulty nine. I'll have to ramp it up even further next time. I definitely think getting the 30 is going to be a huge challenge, but I mean, this game's so much fun. I don't mind continuing to go for it. If you like it, let me know. I'd love to run it back. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and peace.